right here these are super clear you can see what's going on you can tell what everything is hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name's Eva today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to design and create these custom labels for your Capri Suns for birthday parties celebrations etc I actually really love making these so I'm excited to show you guys watch till the end if you really want to learn how to make these step by step I'm gonna make it as quick and easy as possible and I hope it's helpful to you guys Please like this video and comment if you learned something. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and I would truly appreciate it. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so for this video, you're going to need sticker paper or permanent printable vinyl. It's your choice. Clear Oracle 651 or laminate. It's your choice what you want to use. And of course, Capri Suns. And then of course, you'll need your cutting machine. I use a Cricut Maker. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is design the Capri Sun. I'm using Canva.com. This is one of my favorite websites for designing. Here is um, the Capri Sun design that I did for my son's birthday. I did all of this in Canva. I'm going to show you guys exactly how I did it. Okay, so on the home page of Canva, on the top right hand corner, you're going to click create a design. I'm going to do custom size. Once you click custom size for the width, you're going to put 3.25. For the height you're going to put 4.75 and make sure this says inches um, it automatically is on pixels but you want to change it to inches you want to lock it and create new design so it brings you to your blank page okay so we have a blank canvas here in canva i already have my toy story images here on the left they're saved from when i did it the last time but i'm going to show you guys how exactly i got these Okay, so I'm gonna go to Google and I'm gonna type in Toy Story Cloud Wallpaper. Um, I believe this is the one that I use here. So I'm gonna um, right click, save image as. We'll just put Toy Story background. So you wanna save all of your images. I'm gonna go back to Canva. We're gonna upload here on the left side. Upload media. We're going to do the Toy Story image that we just saved. Toy Story background, open it. There it is. So then we're going to right click and set image as background. Then we're going to go back to Google and we're going to type in Toy Story Woody Buzz PNG. So any image that you upload, you want to make sure it's a PNG. Go to images so all of these backgrounds are transparent that's what you need to design something so that there's no white background or a grid background like this here okay so i believe this is an image that i use so i'm going to click it you can see this image is super clear that the background is transparent that's exactly what you want if the image is pixelated or blurry you don't want to use that image because um, it's going to look like that whenever you print it out so i'm going to save the image I'm gonna put Toy Story, Woody and Buzz, save it. I'm gonna go back to Canva, back to my design. I'm gonna upload the media. So you're gonna go find the image wherever you put it. And then mine's under Toy Story, so let me get it. So there it is, I'm gonna upload it. I already have these saved, I'm just doing it to show you guys. And you see how there's no background, it's transparent. So you're just gonna move it how you want it. You can size it, small, big things like that. So you just repeat the process, get all of the images that you want. There's so many to choose from. Look at all these cute images, you guys. Look at Buzz. Um, so you do what you want. I'm gonna fix mine up. So I will be back when I'm done. Okay, so like I said, you can fix it how you want. Then you're gonna go back to Google and you're gonna type in Capri Sun PNG logo. All right, so you go to images, you can pick pick whichever logo you want. I'm gonna go ahead and go with this one, the Capri Sun All Natural. Again, you're gonna save your image. I'm gonna put Capri Sun so I can find it. Capri Sun logo. I'm gonna go back to Canva. Okay, I'm gonna go and upload the media for the Capri Sun logo. Upload that, there it is. 
So you need a transparent background. You just move it how you want it. And then where I got where it says happy birthday Christian like this. I believe I found a generator, so I went to Toy Story Birthday Generator. And this is the website, it's fontmeme.com. So this is what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna type in happy birthday. And then you wanna do enter and put the name on the bottom so it can look like the top part. So I'm gonna put happy birthday Christian. So once I click generate, it's going to put the image here. I'm just going to save it, save image as, save it again. I'm going to put Christian's birthday. So we'll save that there. Go back to Canva. Again, upload your media. I'm going to open that file and it is transparent for you already. So that's awesome. Then I am going to put that wherever I want it. So y'all get the process about finding PNGs that you want and then downloading them to your computer or phone and then uploading them into Canva. So here's the balloons on here on the left that I already had downloaded. They were just PNGs from Google. I believe I used this one. So I'm just going to size it however I want. And yes, it's over the images, but if you right click and put send backwards, or send to back, it's gonna put it in back of everything. Oops, there was two. And that's how I designed this, you guys. So I have the Capri Sun. I'm gonna leave a little space here for the hole for the straw. Then we have Woody and Buzz. I'm gonna make this a little smaller. You know, just resize it how you want, whatever you think looks good. So then I'm going to download this to my computer as a PNG, as always. So I'm going to download it. So now we're going to go into Cricut Design Space. We're going to do a new project. We're going to upload the image that we just created on Canva. It should be right under your downloads. You are going to click complex as the image type because we are going to do a print and cut. Anytime you're doing a print and cut, you're going to do a complex image. There it is, print and cut image, upload it into design space. So we're going to unlock this image. For the width, we are gonna do 3.25. For the height, we're gonna do 4.75. Those are the measurements that I use for the Capri Sun labels. I love Canva so much. It's so easy to create designs like this. You can do things like this. You can do stickers. There's just so many endless ideas. So I'm going to go ahead and link canva.com in my video description so you guys can check it out. Um, it is free. They do also have a pro. I use the pro just because I use it so much and I love all of their free templates and their free images, but it's up to you. Y'all check them out. Totally worth it. It's going to make your life so much easier. Okay, so we have our image here. Now we have to create a little hole for the straw. I honestly, you guys, just do a little estimate or guesstimate. I make a very, very tiny circle using the shapes. I make it super tiny. And then I'm gonna center it maybe about there, just because I'm looking at the Capri Sun here. And I'm like, okay, it's in the center about not even a half an inch from the top. So I'm just guesstimating. I'm going to highlight both of these. I'm going to click align center horizontally. So it, so I know it's in the center and then I am going to highlight and I am going to click slice. So again, the circle is just a guesstimate. So whatever you think, and now we have our template for our Capri Sun. Now we're going to duplicate and see how many fit on a sheet. Okay, so only three fit on a sheet. We are going to do a print and cut. So we are going to send to printer. I'm going to print on high quality so that it looks super good. I'm using printable vinyl from Expressions Vinyl. That's just my preference. You can also use sticker paper, which I have right here. This is glossy sticker paper and this is printable vinyl. It's really your choice. Any type of sticker paper will work. So I'm printing the image. Okay guys, so my images are printed. Look at these beautiful colors. 
I use an Epson 2760 printer. I love it, highly recommend. Look how clear and bright and vivid these images are. That's why I told you to make sure your PNGs are not blurry because if they're blurry on the computer, they're gonna come out blurry here. These are super clear. You can see what's going on. You can tell what everything is. Um, I'm not gonna go into too much detail of, on how to do a print and cut and how to laminate this. I'm just gonna do a time lapse of me doing that just because I have another video on how to um, do the print and cut and then how to laminate it. So if you need help with that, be sure to check out that video. I'm gonna link it in the description down below. So let's get to laminating this and then we'll get them cut out and then I will show you guys how I apply them to the Capri Sun. It's super easy. So here I'm cutting out clear Oracle 651 to size. I'm laying it over the Capri Sun labels to make them waterproof and I'm slowly scraping over it to make sure there's no air bubbles and then we're gonna go ahead and get them all cut out. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how I apply the label to the Capri Sun. So I'm gonna carefully take off the straw. I don't like for mine to rip open. Some people don't mind, but I try very carefully to keep it sealed. I'm gonna just put it to the side. I'm gonna make the Capri Sun as flat as possible. And then I'm just gonna peel off the label. It comes off just like a sticker and the hole is already there for you. And remember, my hole was a guesstimate, so I'm hoping it comes out correctly. So I'm gonna center it just like that. I'm gonna start from the top. I, I know it's not gonna be perfect, but I'm gonna try. And then I'm just gonna slowly push down so that there's no air bubbles. Just like this. See, there's a little wrinkle there, so you can slowly pick back up if you need to. And then start again. These are a little hard to work with, especially for your first time, but you will get the hang of it. I like how you can easily pick, pick it back up and then lay it back down. Then I'll flip it over, get my straw, put it right in the center and then I get a little piece of tape. Any tape will work, I like to use clear. And then I just tape the straw to the back. So just like that. And you repeat the process. Mine was a little off center here. So just try to make it as straight and as centered as possible. it's super easy once you get the hang of it um i feel like the designing is probably going to be the hardest part at first until you get the hang of it but look how beautiful that looks the colors are clear and vibrant i really really love these a lot these are good for any birthday parties any special occasions Okay guys, so that was my way of designing and creating these custom labels for the Capri Suns. I really love making these, they're so, so cute. Also in the description, I'll be linking everything that I used in the video to create these. I will also link the video of how to do a print and cut just in case any of you guys need help with that. I hope this video was super helpful to you guys. If you learned anything, please give this video a like. If you have any questions, please comment them down below. I will be sure to answer you. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, see you later. Bye.